Hi, so I just wanted to do a quick video on my dog. Well, we'll see if it's quick or not. <laughs> I just wanted to do a little warning and uh, let you guys know to be careful for um, the horseshoe poles if you have some in your backyard or um, if they're ever near it. So that's what happened to this girl. This is Hazel. She's my pit bull mix and uh, <laughs> so she was chasing after my friend's dog in my dad's backyard and he has horseshoe pits up the top of the uh, hill back there and she was running for Zeppelin is his name and she did not see the pole and she was a tr maybe tried to jump over it a little bit and cut close to her belly. It's kind of like the crevice of her like leg on the inside um, and got really close to like her uh, pee and poop area a little bit um, but it was just a skin tear uh, well cut I guess and uh, she had to get stitches all along there and I'll post some pictures of it's gonna be a little gory post a picture of um, before it got stitched up and then a picture of uh, yesterday when we changed the bandage I know it's kind of like flimsy on her but at least it's covering it um, we can't go to the vet today because it's Sunday and then tomorrow is uh, 4th of July so we can't go then either so we just had to deal with it on our own right now until Tuesday. So this happened last Monday and uh, we got her all stitched up that same day. We rushed to the vet. You could see a flap of her skin hanging down from around her stomach looking kind of area. And uh, got her to the vet. They sedated her and stitched her up and we got to take her home the same day. Uh, and we were leaving back to home um, that this past Thursday, so we kind of had to make sure and she was all okay for the trip and everything. And the day before we left, we did a little checkup and rebandaged it. We brought it to the vet for that, and uh, the stitches looked really good. But now they're kind of looking. I don't know if they're. We're giving her antibiotics, so it should not be infected, but it looks like it's a little bit open or something in the one spot, and uh, I should have maybe got a better angle to really look at it than the picture shows. So, um, yipe at us. It was just painful to watch. And, you know, they're like one of your babies, so. Yeah. Sorry, I've just kind of been standing in the same spot. Your ears are kind of flat right now. They kind of have a mind of their own. Usually they, they'll be more pit bull like or they'll go flat. And lately they've been kind of flat. She's been pretty calm here lately uh, since her injury. But so, She's a sad little cone head right now. But uh, <laughs> she's doing all right. Um, Been doing antibiotics twice, twice a day, and making sure that bandage is covered. It's been kind of loose since we redid it. It's kind of a pain to redo it, so um, and the stitches will have to be removed. They don't dissolve. Where are you going? She guess she doesn't like me. She's been pretty down on herself, <laughs> but uh. I just wanted to do a quick video on horseshoe pit, uh, the pulls of them. Seriously, if your dogs do not know where they are, um, please put something on them, uh, something over them, Ex especially if there's, well, most of them should be the metal, and it is not dog friendly. It was, it kind of starts right here focus a little bit. It starts kind of up here. If I was to pull that down, you would see a few of those stitches. 
and it went all the way back um, and pretty close to her urinary area so not enjoyable for her so all right that is my video and please don't ignore it because it is something that can happen especially if your dog loves to run and too fast for their own good so all right any questions or comments please put them below